Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Why am I not in focus? Thank you. Hey, everybody. Um, I've actually waited all week to start the vlog. It, why are you just... It's only me. I've actually waited all week to start the vlog. For it to be morning, so I could say good morning, everybody. Um, and every day, I have failed to start it in the morning. So, today's actually Saturday. You're going to see this tomorrow. Um, I will include all the vloggy bits that I've done for the past couple of days in a sec. And then we will wrap back to present time. But some of it might not be necessarily... N narrated? Narr narrated? I don't know what the word is. Um, but I will meet you back here in two secs. So enjoy the past few days. Hello. Good afternoon. You guys can come see me a bit. Um, hello. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Um, I am just on my way to the. So why is my car not moving? To the hospital. Nothing to worry about, kids. I am nice one, did a fucking three point turn and he just wants to go behind, that's lovely, thanks for that, dickhead. Um, I am basically going for more bloods. I had my bloods done in, I want to say January, it could have been February but I'm pretty sure January. And then I got my results back and then Covid hit and I have literally been waiting um, for someone to talk to me about my results, like what my results are. Um, that happened on July 14th, my anniversary, um, and it was a telephone call and he diagnosed me with something that I don't think is correcto, if I'm honest. Um, and I said that and I voiced that, I was like, I don't think it's that. Like what you're saying my allergy is, I don't have allergies to that. Um, I react from other things, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then he's asked for more bloods. So I've just been waiting since then. And I felt really bad because I, ha I hate calling the doctors um, to chase stuff up because I'm just like, it's not just me. My problems aren't that big in the grand scheme of things. Like they're annoying for me, but they're not that big like in general. Um, so I hate it. And I was like, right, I have to call it because it's been since July. It's now the end of October. Um, and I called up and she was like, oh, I'll chase it. And then literally, the lady from the hospital called me yesterday and I'm in today for bloods. Um, I'm just gonna order a Diet Coke. Uno momento. So yes, today we are off to, I'm gonna hit the curb, I'm gonna hit the curb, I'm gonna hit the curb, and down. Uh, today I'm off to get my bloods done. I'm trying to get you in a way that you can see me to get my bloods done. And I wanted to pop to Primark and it costs seven pounds one way to get to the hospital. So I was like, I may as well drive. And I was like, I need to do all these other things. So I may as well just go to the traffic centre. So we're going to the traffic centre after. We're going to to Primark, knit to the post office, and then probably pop to Selfridges because Amelia is working um, in Selfridges today. Come on then. No, no one can see me. restaurant ever go there Christmas I love trees I'm getting that later what tree two what how horrific like a winter Thunderland very girly and pink I like the top in this bowl Oh, that's nice. The corner bar looks so weird. Okay, 
okay we are now back in present day so i did do my tan on my face is really weird by the way i'm using the new well a new uh, tanning um mist from U tan i usually use the coconut tanning water um but it was buy one get one half price so i got that um and i got the almond one which is a tanning milk uh, it comes out the exact same way as the tanning water, but it's called a tanning milk. Um, and I've been using that and I... I mean, it looks nice, but I just think it's just a bit... I just look a bit patchy, don't I? Um, so please do excuse that. And excuse my lashes as well. Um, they're all falling off. But my eyes are better. Really better. I've been using E45 in them as well to make sure that they're not um, like wrinkly and dry. Um, so I've finished work for the day and I've tidied the beauty room. Beauty room was a freaking tip. I don't know how it happened. Honest to God, right? I kept on top of this room for ages. And then one day... I just took my eye off the ball and she didn't recover. Um, but I will show you what I got from Primark. So I did get some boots, but they are currently in the JD bag there because they've been returned. They're really nice, but they just don't fit my calves. Hashtag big carb gang. Um, I'll show you everything else I got. I got these, which were our two room sachets. I've already put one in the bedroom to see if I like it, and then I'll put the other one in the living room. But they are the Winter Spice room sachets, £2.50, um, and they smell absolutely incredible. And it lasts up to four weeks. So I'm going to put the other one in the living room, and then in the bedroom, and then I feel like the beauty room will just smell anyway because it's the room that's in between them. Um, and we usually leave the doors open um i also picked up a couple of little ornaments um these were one pound 79 a very random price there's a tree one which says we wish you a merry christmas hello a star one that says merry and bright and then the heart one says it's the most wonderful time of the year today is halloween tomorrow is christmas um we're probably going to be decorating tomorrow um and maybe in the week and what i'm gonna do is just do christmas decorating we're not gonna put the tree up we're not gonna put the tree up till like mid mid november only because um tom won't let me put it up any earlier but i need it up because pour moi which is the i'm a brand ambassador for they are a lingerie loungewear and they've just launched some clothing actually um they're sending their christmas boxes out so i want to get some um content in time for that so we're gonna put our tree up soon but we're gonna do decorations first i feel like tom won't be happy if i put the tree up on november 1st so we're gonna do decorations and then tree but i will do that with you obviously um this is what i've actually picked up this and the next thing ages ago and i've just been saving them in case i did a primark haul but today <laughs> try not to think about it try not to think about it boris is announcing something again we all think that beauty is going to shut again even though I have not had one client say that they have COVID, that they've left my facility and caught COVID. We are so clean. I'm not going to do it because I will cry. And we've all been there with me <laughs> for the past however many months it's been. So I'm just going to pretend it's not existing. But anyway, I was going to do a massive Primark um, shop. But obviously we don't know if they're going to be open because they're not technically a I don't know. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Mm -hmm. I got these ages ago in thinking that I was going to go back and do a big Primark shop. I didn't do the big Primark shop because I don't know if Primark's going to be blah, blah, blah. So I got these a while ago. Um, but they are Baj. Baj is my new favourite word. Baj. Um, slash tan slash camel. Um, full suede leggings. I got these in an 18 because I... <laughs> I'm on a Primark Facebook group, guys. I know. It's called Primark Hall. Um, if you want to join, join. I love it. Though. I've just, I just—I spent hours just on the, that one group, um, and they've said that these come up quite small. So I got an 18. I feel like um, I don't even know what his name is. Hello, Chucky. Shalom, Chucky. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Anyway, uh, just like suede faux, le faux leggings. I wanted to just get the badge ones and then see how I go, and then I would hopefully like to go back and get the black. Um, and there's a bit of a stretch to them as well, which is nice. So I got those, and those were fifteen pounds. Um, I got these as well, and I got these in the stone colour, and I returned them because I was like, "Look, girl, where are we wearing stone faux 
leather shorts. How will we wear them? Can you even wear them with black tights? Probs not. So, let's not. Um, so they just look like this. Again, I got these on 18. I could have I could have done with the 16, but whatever. Um, they were £10. Um, paper waist bag, uh, faux leather, black shorts. And I really, really, really like them. And they fit lovely. Um, and then I picked up a basket because I want to put toilet roll in this in the big bathroom. This was only eight pounds. I think I spoke to you guys about the big bathroom already that I want to do it up. I just haven't found everything that I needed for it. And these baskets in like home sense and that are like 30 odd quid. And I saw this in Primark for eight. So I got it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put like toilet roll in it because the, the, the tone in the, the big bathroom is very earthy and like plants and green and everything. So I just got that. And then I picked up a three piece. Oh yeah, three. Um, and again, I've seen this on my Primark group. I will I pop a picture of me wearing it if you want to see it in action. I'm gonna do like a cozy, I might have to do a cozy day with me if Boris doesn't let me work. It was gonna be a cozy night, but it'll probably be a cozy freaking day. Thanks BJ, let me not again. Um, so I will wear them in this as well. I got the top. So it's just kind of like a furry, cozy, nice like little, it's a very long bralette top. Um, I think these are meant to be loungewear, but honestly, I'd probably wear the top in real life. I would definitely wear the cardigan in real life as well. Um, and then the trousers, very nice. Flared, super long. I'm five foot eight and they fit me perfectly. Trousers were 12, top was seven. I got the trousers in an extra large, the top in a large. Could have done with a medium, if not a small. Um, but oh well, I might actually try and exchange. If they've got it in, I'll exchange it when I do the boots actually. And then the, the dressing gown was 14 and I got that in an extra large. And again, I'll probably wear this in real life, like outside with some cute boots, some jeans and a little top. Um, but that's basically all I got from the Primarnies. Um, and then a brand actually sent me this, the Cord Bretta. Look how nice it is, wait, my dress is everywhere. Um, but it comes in like a cute little box. The brand is called Greta. Um, and they're so, so, so sweet. And I'm so grateful and so thankful. I know I don't look it because I'm looking around for something to open this with. Um, but I, I honestly am. So thank you so, 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 so much, Greta. <gasps> Ooh. Thank you. Please turn. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really love personalised stuff. If you watched my last week's vlog, which is like a little mini PR haul, um, a few of the things are personalised. And like, I just love personalised stuff. It says... We hope you enjoy the Greta box and treat yourself to a lovely pamper session. Yes, I need that with my new loungewear. Here is a discount code for your followers. Sophie Babe for 10% off the Greta box. <gasps> thanks Kate and thanks Kate. That's really nice. So you guys get 10% off. It comes like this. Look how absolutely cute this is. So it says fun stuff. They are a small brand and I know a lot of people are doing this at the moment and I think with the business that I'm in as well, I'm an extremely small company, it's just me, uh, first year starting up kind of thing. I really want to support smaller brands so please, please, please comment down below, message me on Instagram, anything like that to support smaller brands um, and I want to purchase from them and everything but I think this is so cute. I'm super, so fast, I'm so excited. Oh, I don't want to rip it. Oh my god! Please, guys, this is so cute. Oh, why am I gonna cry? I'm a grown adult, why am I crying? Look how absolutely cute. So they told me that they do personalised boxes as well. I... Oh, I've got like a little scrunchie, I can actually cry. Honestly, guys, like this stuff means so much to me like i'm not gonna get into it oh, anyway so i got a little scrunchie um a eco treatment body wash look how snazzy that is um a uh sheet mask a coconut one as well i love coconut and i'm not allergic to that i feel like i'm not allergic to anything in this box which is good um a coconut sheet mask i love a sheet mask um oh the waffles oh I love those, like you make like a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or hot chocolate or something hot and then you put it on top and then the caramel inside the waffle melts and it's like uh, a dream. Oh, thank you guys. Honestly, I could cry. Um, 
some luxury soap. I always like soap like this. I feel very bougie. I might put that in the kitchen actually because we do need some soap. Um, what are you? A little chocolate bar. Grandma's Rolling Pin Bakery. Homemade chocolates and bakery. Check them out. It's still looking for me. There we go. That's the brand. I will leave it all linked down below. But it's like a little chocolate. Oh, it's so cute. And then I've got a little sleek liquid lipstick. Um, a matte me. Ultra smooth matte lip cream. In the shade Rejoa Red. I'm not sure. Very Christmassy. Um, oh my god, are these incense sticks? Stop. Stress relief incense of a combination of lavender, orange blossom, and thyme. They sent me incense sticks. I love incense. We used to have it. Oh, I can just smell it. We used to have it when we, when I was growing up in my um, family home. We have these. I feel like these are nail art things, maybe. I'm gonna double check with them, but I think they're like little nail arts, which is so cool. Please ignore. I only have my thumbs left. It's fine. And then a little vanity kit. What is in my vanity kit? What is this? <gasps> it's got like a cotton wool and like cotton ear yeah, stick pads. That is the most cutest package I've ever received in my whole entire life. And I just, I am so unbelievably thankful. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Greta. Thank you so much. Guys, please, 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 please check them out because that, I feel like if you gifted that, like, if you got it yourself, I feel like it would be, like, amazing. But if you gifted that someone, like, you saw my reaction. I mean, I am a bit of a drama queen, but your friends and family who you gifted to might be a drama queen as well. And then you could be like, I know exactly how you responded, because I've watched Sophie B. Beauty respond the exact same way. <laughs> um, but no, check them out. My my discount is Sophie Babe. Um, it's amazing. It says, thank you so much for your order. Your support of my small business means the world to me, and I could not be more grateful. That's amazing. Like, honestly, I really, really want to get into small businesses um, and supporting them as much as I can. I just, I feel so blessed. Honestly, I feel so blessed. Like, whatever Boris says today, like that, that just tops it so much. I'm just so thankful. Um, I could cry. <laughs> I'm such a child. Um, okay, so anyway, you guys, that is it for this little segment right now. Um, I am just going to make some, I was going to say breakfast, but it's 10 to 2. It's probably more lunch now. I do have a little uh, fitness diet thing to update you guys on as well, but I'll do that in a bit. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys as the day unfolds. Hi. I'm not allowed to work for four weeks. But I'm okay. Hello. Happy deja vu. Um, it is Sunday, it's the same day that you guys are going to see this. I'm actually going to get ready to edit this now, but obviously I did not finish the vlog yesterday. The camera died and I didn't charge it, so we're here. I have the bralette thing that I showed you yesterday from Primark. We went to town this morning. Um, some of Tom's friends are, I say some, one of Tom's friends and his girlfriend are moving to London. Um, and we haven't seen them for a while, so we want to go and see them off in the train station. Masks on, socially distanced, didn't hug, didn't touch. Um, but we haven't seen them, so we just want to say goodbye to them. Um, so while we were there, I just quickly popped to Primark. I managed to get this top now in a medium, and I returned to my boots as well. Um, and then we just had a little mooch, um, and we've come back, and I've finally eaten. Um, so basically, my new health thing, which I feel like if you guys have been here for ages, you're like, another thing, Sophie, really. Um, I'm in keto. Well, I'm doing keto. I'm on keto. I'm ketosis. Um... So yeah, basically I've been doing keto. Today is day seven. I started last Monday. Um, I feel really good. I am obsessed with this diet, this lifestyle, whatever you want to kind of call it. I know that keto is a diet. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's the best thing ever. Um, and, and the only reason I hadn't started it before was I know, well, I had assumed it was very avocado based and one, I do not like the taste of avocado, and two, I'm allergic to it. It's one of the most happiest moments that I'm allergic to. I'm like, yes, I definitely can't have it now. Um, and then reading my book, reading up more on it, um, realized I don't have to have avocado. So um, yeah, I've been doing keto for seven days. I feel great. I'm gonna do a solely dedicated video once it's been a month, um, telling you guys about my weight. 
um, how maybe my body might look, hopefully it looks better, um, what I eat, all that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like you can see my collarbone here coming through, like, I feel like this part of me is, like, amazing. I feel like my face is gone slimmer. I know it sounds crazy because it's only been a week, but I kind of do. Um, so I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow and see how that is. Um, we are in another lockdown. It starts on Wednesday night, like, Wednesday midnight, Thursday day. I'm just going to say Thursday. I've had a video that's been ready to go literally since last week, Tuesday. It should have gone up. And I've just basically forgotten every day. I'm going to try and put it up on... I'm going to try and put it up on Tuesday. Basically, because we're now cancelled for the rest of the month, I've had to push all my clients into doing Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, and I've got a lot to do um, and places to go and, thing, and all that kind of stuff. So I know you guys don't expect it all the time anyway, but um, next week's vlog, you will not see me for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, possibly first time i'm just being exhausted from it um so i'm just going to be working 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 those couple of days um and then i can't work again um i'm not gonna get upset don't worry i know that i've already done that i know that we've probably been sat in this exact same position and i've cried over it so i'm not going to do that again this time um i made my peace with it yesterday and i'm just going to kind of see what happens in life I'm going to focus more on my teaching. I think I explained to you guys last week that I'm doing my teaching course. So I'm going to see if I can progress any more with that. Um, I got my results back from my first unit and I passed. So um, yeah, I think I'm just... I had my sad day yesterday and um, I'm going to bang out these next three days. And then, yeah, so you've had like <laughs> a few, like a month or so of me just being like, hey guys, I'm just popping in on like a Saturday, just doing a one day vlog. Um, and then we're going to go back to literally seeing my face for about 40 minutes every Sunday of me complaining every single day that I've got nothing to do. Um, so yeah, basically I've got loads of content that I want to get filmed now that my eyes are better as well. Um, that was a big thing. That was a problem. And after Wednesday, I'm basically, I've got nothing else to do except for youtube i felt like my brows look really weird here sorry um so yeah i've got loads of content doing like loads of cozy stuff and like routines and like days and whatever um whatever else you want to see please let me know in the comments down below please try not to say haul hauls hauls because your girl cannot work <laughs> so your girl's got no money um i really wanted to do a primark shop and a primark haul but maybe we'll just do one after that down um so yeah anything else you want to see let me know um i hope to god anyone else is in a situation where your own business may be suffering or you are being laid off from work or you're being furloughed or if you are suffering from covid or if anyone else around you is just anyone anyway um i hope you're all okay please stay safe please 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 stay safe um we will get through it we've got through the big like five six month lockdown before hopefully to god it is just the one month i'm gonna put it out into the universe that hopefully we will but it's only only time can tell right um but yeah i love you guys so much let me know how i can help you if you ever need a, someone to chat to i'm always here um i've said it before sometimes i take a little bit of a while to reply because i'm just zoned out um but i always do reply to you so if you ever need me i'm here um stay safe stay well i love yous um let me know any content i think because i will be going crazy i will try and get like three main videos and a vlog up every week as well so that you guys have got a lot of content i know in the lockdown for me i kind of wish that other youtubers made more content for me just to watch myself and kind of like zone out to um so that was my finger cracking i didn't fart I promise um so literally anything you want to see let me know um and I hope we can all get through this. I've got faith in all you guys. Um, if you're a small business, I honestly am here for you. Uh, and especially if you're a makeup artist, I feel like makeup artists just have not had a chance at all. And I, my literally my heart is, is yours. Um, but yeah, I just, I hope that you guys are staying safe um, and well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you next week, probably on Thursday when I'm absolutely exhausted from working non-stop. I'm literally working like 9am to 9pm, which I know isn't a lot, but my job is so based on concentration that I've always got a headache um, <laughs> afterwards because I'm always like, 
um but yeah i hope you guys are all safe and i will see you throughout the week um we're gonna have the video that i try and go live on tuesday i try and put it live around a client um maybe when i come on like a five minute break in between a client um and then i don't think you'll get one thursday it might be friday and then the rest of the month i'll try and get three up a week for you as well um but yeah love you guys lots and i'll see you soon Thank you.